I wish I could join you like last year, like by this time I would have six months experience at minimum, right? Everything, everything that you teach, every, every skills, every techniques, every ideas, those ones are very helpful to get a dream job. I, that was the best investment I have done in my whole life. Otherwise, I just invested a little bit and I got this for the lifetime. Hi guys, this is Leo COC and founder of Leo Educations. Welcome to another podcast with us. And today I have here with me one of our students from our job coaching program, Atika. And uh, the reason why I bring her on today is to hopefully can inspire you with her success story. And hopefully many of you can learn from her and uh, try to achieve the same thing. So Atika, for those who do not know about you, can you start off with by introducing yourself, who you are, what have you studied and what is your job you were looking for? I am Atika Sultana. I have studied from Macquarie University. Uh, I have done Bachelor of Engineering major in Mechatronics Engineering. Mm. And I was looking for job A, like under my field. I used to work, but like not related to my field. But I was looking very actively like under my field work i someone elder brother gave me leo's information like you might like he is a very good guy he helps and there are like several such stories from him so you might like contact him i said okay so he gave me actually around like last year by the time i contact and then his new session this january so i joined his class and yeah that's how i know leo and that's my short background so let's bring us back a little bit. So which year did you come to Australia? So I came in 2016. I did my uh, standard foundation over here from wow. Macquarie University. And then I have done my information technology. Oh. And then I changed my major to mechatronics. Uh -huh. and then because at first I came like with software engineering, but then I changed my major to mechatronics. And then, yeah. So okay. it's... Wow. I didn't know this part, I think. I didn't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it came along like it's been a long time. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a yeah. very long time, I think. Yeah. So you've been here since 2016? Yes, 2016, Feb. Wow. Wow. Okay, so you came here. You Originally, the plan was to pursue IT degree. And then last minute, then you change it to mechatronics engineer. Yes, yeah, sort of like first year. So oh. second year I changed. So I did diploma and then I second year I changed uh, to... So, so for those who are curious, what, what was the motivation for you? Like, why, why do you decided to change on the second um, year? To be honest, uh, I changed because um, definitely uh, I was struggling a lot in with the coding part, but mm. I thought like this one will be less coding and more of hardware basis, but mm. uh, then... <laughs> In third uh, third year of my degree, I got to know like this is much more coding than what I had before. So I was like, okay. So as now there as that time there was no like way to go back or something. So I said, like, mm. okay, fine, I will learn coding. You thought your life would be easier, but it turns yeah, out more difficult. Yes. Huh? And it became more difficult <laughs> because I didn't give up, and then I I learned coding, and I learned which one I didn't want. Wanted to because coding was something that wasn't going to my head. So I thought like so software is not for me actually. Software yeah. engineering is for not for me. But then I learned in a more difficult way. <laughs> my <laughs> personalized <laughs> Morma. <laughs> you you like challenges, huh? Yeah. You, you like the difficult way. Okay. Yeah. Then when did you finish your degree? Twenty second, uh, and then I got graduated in twenty twenty third. And when did you start to really looking for your job? After twenty twenty third. So yeah, I was like right after I graduate, and then right after the ceremony, everything happened, and then I was like actively looking. Even like after my university was done. I was like looking, but not that seriously. But right after my graduation, I was seriously looking because that time everyone was are surrounded, like everyone was getting jobs and it was like peer pressure as well. Like I was like, oh, oh what I am here doing nothing sort of like that. But then, yeah, I was actively looking, like seriously looking for jobs since 2023. Yes. Which month of 23? Um, it was about 
May. About eight yeah. months you're searching, yeah. right? Yeah. And obviously for you, I guess when you first came here, you also went through all these odd jobs as well, right? Yeah. Tell us about that. How many odd jobs have you done and what were they? So my first job in Sydney was at KFC which was very difficult for me because at back in home, I didn't even work, nothing. I was sort of like, you know, you can call Papa's princess. <laughs> and then suddenly I came and then over here, I worked uh, in KFC. Then uh, then I was struggling over there. I was like, mm. it was very, it's uh, kitchen, definitely kitchen. Huh? And like, I have to make burgers with timers and all those. But then one of my friends said, why don't you join Woolworths? Okay. Then I joined there and yeah, so I worked over there more than one year. After Uli's, I didn't work for like six months, maybe. Well, I was struggling with coding and everything. So I didn't work for six months, but then after I started working at BP. And obviously as an engineering student and doing all these odd jobs, how did you feel at that time when you were doing all this with this job that were not meant for, for your study? So, yes, so definitely that time people were saying at least this will give you some sort of experience, if not directly, no. if it's not directly, then at least it will develop communication skill and all those sort of skills. And that's why I was like more and that time I needed money as well. So, <laughs> so we have to. Yeah, but apart from that, like, yeah, definitely deep down, I felt like pressurized, way too pressurized, coping with work and then mm -hmm. um, study as well, because I engineering if you know like it's a lot of projects and always pressure like classes you, i have to attend all those classes practical classes workshops there will mm. be something so mm. university full day if like five days at university four days at universities and then working three days it was uh -huh. very that time my life was like hell i can't even imagine i don't want to think about that life but yeah everything from everywhere, I learned something. That's true. Of course. Yes. Of course, of course. There's always some some lesson you can learn yeah. Yeah. about any experience, isn't it? Yeah. So you work at KFC, then you move to Uwards, then you move to BP, and yeah. then obviously you graduate. And then for eight months, you've been searching. Now tell us a bit about the search yourself. So you were trying by yourself. What was the struggle like? I was just applying, you know, like... Applying, applying, applying. When I joined you, that time I knew like, okay, the way that I was applying, it's wrong. For that reason, maybe. And also another reason, main reason, they require like ex experience, which I don't have in my field. I was a fresh graduate, definitely. So I didn't have that experience. And also another thing is like PR, which also mm -hmm. I don't have. But then I only... One thing I had, that's like full working rights. Mm -hmm. and that's it. I was struggling with that. And then, yeah, as you have mentioned in your uh, job coaching program, definitely, guys, he will uh, let you know, like, quick apply is the starting of the disaster uh, stage. Like, you just mess up uh, if you do that. I was doing that, actually. I was mm -hmm. the one who did that. <laughs> wow. Once I joined your program, you said the right way to apply for a job and what oh. should be taken in care, like to apply before applying job. So you say that you, you made a lot of mistakes and one of them was you uh, simply click the quick apply button, right? That was one of the many. For the viewers watching this, if you are doing that, then obviously that is the no-no. How does that make you feel, Atika? Because I can imagine... You must receive a lot of no's and rejections in your email. Yes, definitely. Those emails made me more de demotivated. You know, like you, I started to feel like maybe like what's wrong with me then? Like why, what will I do with the degree? Like if I don't get uh, someone's like more competent than you, we hired sort of like that. And sometimes I don't even get, I didn't even get back, get a reply from the company. So it was like, so demotivating for me before starting the course in Sydney, like in Macquarie University, everyone said like, it's a very well university. If you go, your job is on your plate. You just go and then you will get jobs. And after, right after your degree, you will get job. There are so many opportunities. I was like, okay, I came with a full dream, like prepared. I, I thought like the life will be easy, very easy. Like, 
whatever I had back in my country, it will be more very easy over here. But the real thing hit when I graduated. I thought like after graduation, my life will be easy because I will be working wow. a stable job. I will yeah. be working in a very well-known company and everything, but sort it didn't work like that. What you were saying is so true. I think a lot of other international students, they felt the same way. They sign up for all these very well-known university for a reason, right? Because, because yeah. apparently the employment rate post-graduation would be very high, but reality says something else so at that time do you feel like there's a lot of support around you when it comes to employment when it comes to job search i have learned like when people go at a stage like maybe because they are busy that's why sometimes they try they even they want to contact or something they can't keep the contact because they are busy with their own thing own mm. struggle life and own job so maybe that's that was the reason maybe i didn't get any cooperation from lot of friends but yes mm. that's fine as well so that um because i didn't get the motivation from uh, or any uh, help from my friends or anyone mm. i mm. got like more motivated to uh, prove myself in front of everyone not only to me like in front wow. of everyone. okay i have to do this this is a challenge like I, i really have to do this i have completed my degree and i will do this i will get a job and mm. i will It's for me, actually, for deep down inside. Now, if you ask me, I my mind is so relaxed. I just don't feel any tension now. I feel like half of my life is set. I just literally, I feel like wow. that. <laughs> so glad to hear that. So glad yes, to hear that. My confidence level, it's like it was at the bottom. Literally, it was at the bottom before I joined you, before even, even before give, uh, getting for the, ready for the interview of my confidence. I break down several times. I thought like, okay, what will happen? But then again, Leo was there. Definitely. It's all right, Adika. You just prepare for these, these type of questions. It's fine. You will be fine. Hopefully, if you even don't go yet, it's fine. At least experience just experience like this experience will be more helpful as well you never mm. know those type of words support from behind mm. or at least like from in front you really everyone should need that mm. yeah we sometimes all we need is just someone who believe in us and a bit of encouragement right it will it will get us go very far so now that you have joy our program and i guess you have learned a lot and even though you just barely start right? it's just about two weeks only um but what have you learned that maybe top two or three things that you have learned that really have made a lot of difference for you that you would like to share with the viewers when it comes to job search his resources his everything once you join the class he will give everything it's in it's in the google drive format so you just have to go through everything it's we definitely in classes you we all have to join because Uh, to know from this type of legend like experience who is speaking so definitely you that is also helpful but apart from that he has everything ready for the for his students it's sort of like if you need you need this you go there you need this you just click that you need this okay you just do this you just we just needed to follow him mm. just needed mm. to uh, follow his uh, whatever he le- give Uh, whatever he asked us to do in homeworks and lectures and everything we just needed to do that it's very easy and i did that actually and so oh. after that it was like okay one after another it's like whole he arranged his program in such a way that okay you have done this okay you will do that then after this you will go for this it's organized way rather than just mm-hmm. Uh, me, what I was doing before is like, okay, I'll just apply and I'll just do this. Okay. Okay. Maybe a rejection. Okay. Never contact. Nothing. There is nothing. Uh, because I got rejection, there is no more chance. But he said like, even if you get rejection from any offer, uh, any job, that doesn't mean that you you should end the conversation with the company. That time you have to contact that company more. There are Excellent. so many loopholes that in Leo introduced me to. Like, okay, these are the things you just, there are actually like, definitely Leo, I am just so grateful to you. Oh, I appreciate that. You Thank and you. also Tiani as well. Every time calling, Atika, okay, homework, okay, these, that. It's 
such a wonderful team you have. The lesson you learned there is obviously a lot, and I think that has helped you. Now, tell us about the interview, Atika, because you got the interview, and we kind of prepare them in a very short notice as well. How did it help you? Did the interview preparation help you? When I told like Leo and Tiani, I got the invitation for the interview. They said like, okay, they right away, not, didn't even waste a second. They right away gave me like what type of common questions or sort of like that, like what do I, how, what do I expect? How, so that the interview in interview board, I don't feel like shock. I, I had one demo interview with you like before interview. So that was really helpful. So even just to, be, definitely I wasn't that confident because this was the, all this time I was just applying. I never got a call for interview. So this was the first time I got a call from interview under my field. So I was, I was very scared. I was very like feeling, okay. One time I feel like, okay, I can do it. The next time I feel like, okay, I can't. It's like, okay, I, this is not, uh, maybe what if I don't get it? What if I don't know this answer? What if they ask me that one? So there were so many what if, and the answer I got from Leo. Okay, just don't relax. It's the main thing. You just have to relax and you just have to listen. You just have to go through this, prepare this sort of this set of questions so that you don't, if they ask, you are well prepared and everything prepare for the company and everything but once I went there I was literally shaking <laughs> I, will tell you, I was shaking and then the interview board wherever they were very friendly as well so they uh, when I saw them like and they when they started talking in a friendly way I thought like okay fine I it's safe it's fine and I remembered that time Leo said it's even if, if I don't get it I don't get it but at least this is an experience so it's let legitly I remember that as it's just relax it's fine everything will be all good did you give them any gift? Oh, oh yes and this that one I thought like okay should I like literally when he emailed when he said to me like you should give them the suite like where you will say like this is sort of like my tradition and all those in first meeting I should I thought like okay but should I do that then that like way too much and I did that literally Leo said before I said because I was confused I asked like Leo should I do it or like trust me Atika you just do it they will be happy and but in, uh, up front they will say like okay no need nothing exactly same thing happened <laughs> same exactly same thing happened and it was like they said after they received I, after I gave them uh, they say like oh it's fine why you had to do this but they were happy actually. I could see it from their face. Of course, of course. And uh, how many people who are interviewing you on that day? Um, uh, initially, there were three. They are supposed to be three, but um, two. After the interview, one thing that I told you to do right away was the follow up. How important yes. was it to follow up right after the interview? Yes, definitely. It was very important. That's how uh, the persons who interviewed me, they felt like, okay, this is like, I put more emphasis because I got to know like they, from them, they said like, okay, there are a few more people to be interviewed. After that, we will let you know shortly. That sort of thing that I got a reply. And I was like, okay, definitely there were a few more people as well. So among them, how should I put it? Like, okay, this was me. And just thank you message. They felt like I am more interested in that role and interested in their company and yeah, sort of because of that, it was so important. And I I got a reply the next day, like, okay, is my team will contact you shortly regarding that your interview was good. Even getting a feedback like this in the morning, it's the next day, it's like sort of you feel like, okay, so relaxed. And you feel like so good and confident level. Okay, maybe, definitely I will get this job. That sort of feeling I had. Wow. So from the day that you finish your interview until they say that they're happy to give you the offer, how many days was that? Two days after. Oh, almost immediately, isn't it? That's very yes, immediately, almost immediately because I emailed them thank you message. They replied me and they said like the, my other team member, will they he will be shortly connecting with you. He called, mm. he said directly, like, okay, Atika, it's like congratulations and everything, yeah. He directly, he didn't even, before sending, he called me. When I applied for the role, 
I didn't only apply and then keep, I didn't do that. I, for, I at first called them before I saw the online advertisement and then I called them and I talked with the, with someone. I didn't know that time, like whom I'm talking to, which I really had to know. But later in the interview board, I got to know that was the uh, managing director of the company. Oh so, my God. Yes, That's... actually. Yeah. Ooh. So uh, I talked with her and she said she referred me to the recruit uh, uh, to the senior engineer over there who will be interviewing me that and then that's how they say like okay we, you have been already like sort of I was in their sh like shortly sort of because I was continuously contacting them I was calling them I was ma mailing them I was texting them LinkedIn kind of getting connection like before even applying to the job and then she said like oh when I talked with her she said like apply for this we have a vacancy right now and which I knew actually <laughs> which we are we have a vacancy right now so and that might you might be interested in that role so why don't you apply there and then I applied and then I said like okay I gave I gave her the email like okay this, this is my resume and this is my application id and everything so if you get time please have a look at it and then yeah and afterwards they say like okay, within up after applying maybe the second day i got the interview call like mm. they called me for the interview and they said okay why don't you want which time you prefer for the interview because we are arranging on this specific death Date. I said, okay, yes, Leo, I just got the call for interview. What is this, man? I can't believe. That's brilliant. So the cold call really helped. The yes. LinkedIn message really helped. Yes. The follow-up, the interview preparation, everything that put yes. together. But everything that Leo said really, really helped me. It's sort of like it made my impression in front of them. It's like, I'm wait, I'm very excited and I am very eager to do this job. No matter what, like I am there, I will be doing this. It's, they saw that interest in me. They saw that um, type of yeah interest in me. So that I, they saw that enthusiastic. I'm very much um, enthusiastic about this role and job. Before this program, you, you will never be able to do this. I big? never, I just, I told you before, I only quick apply. I used to get rejection. Okay, that's it, done. Another company. Okay, then that's, <laughs> yeah, I never used to um get, I never used to call them. I never, because I didn't know like this, this can be done as well. And you told me, man, like you just say like, okay, you, the main step, the first step is not to apply for the job. The first step is to take your mobile and then call. You call them, you tell them you are this, put a name, like just make them realize, recognize you so that when they see uh -huh. your resume, yeah. so when they say your application, they just think, oh, this is the person I talk. This is she maybe, okay, or he thought, yeah. Oh, wow, wow. 100%, 100%. And probably last two questions here, Atika, is um, how does it make you feel now to, you know, finally got that job you can see with my smile <laughs> with my... <laughs> i am so happy i feel like i felt that day like top of the world i was like mm -hmm. i called my parents right away because they were saying like i, ha I really had a, i really needed a job over here mm -hmm. no matter what at what i just needed a job so i just called I was like feeling top of the world. I was feeling wow. this is, I have achieved something. I I know, and I believed like I I will, someday maybe I will get, but I didn't know like this quick. I believed when I was joining you, I sort of like had that feeling, okay, fine. Because everyone gave so much of positive review about you, positive um, talking about you. I knew like, okay, fine, I will, I will also get, I will be the one. And I used to see like taking interviews, like this type of like podcast thing. I used to say, I will be that one who <laughs> will share my success story in front of the world. Yes. Fantastic. And um, obviously, yes, it's good for your career, 100%. But do you feel that with this job, it's also going to help you with your permanent residency as well with your visa? Definitely. It's working under my field will give me five more points 
which is additional mm. as well, which is, and um, the, the, it is very helpful for PR as well. Yes. Absolutely. Because I think the, as we all know nowadays, to get a permanent residency in Australia is getting a lot harder, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yes. And um, it's more important than ever that you need to have your own uh, professional field job. And that's why uh, our business has been booming for that very reason. You are just flooding in to get our help. Um, probably last question uh, to get for those who's watching this right now and they are thinking to join our job coaching program, would you recommend them? And if yes, what would be some reasons for them to join? Definitely, I will recommend them because because I feel like rather than struggling by on by myself, like I when I got to know you, your you and your program when I was introduced to your program and your job coaching this program, I was more like I felt like I'm more organized, and rather than just getting lost in out of like this so many there is already so many com like competitions for one job there is like so many people looking for one only like specific that job and apart from that if you just like do it in a um, wrong way that will make more disaster so so i will recommend everyone to join you and just to get an extra help like just to guide and until like we achieve something until they also achieve their dream job and your techniques, your your way of uh, your practice. I feel like you are more, you say more, from more practical basis thing, like, oh, this will happen. Just trust me, this will, they will feel like this. Trust me, Adiga, it's fine. <laughs> so you, I feel like you just say it from your practical knowledge as well. Everything, everything that you teach, every, every skills, every techniques, every um, ideas, those ones are very helpful to get a, dream job to get the professional job and it's much easier rather than like waiting for i wish i could join you like last year like when i was like you start like literally I, by this time i would have six months experience at minimum right so <laughs> but yeah and it, everything happens for a reason so it's fine for those who curious what package do you go with us uh, it went for gold package gold package yeah. do you feel that is one of the best investment you ever yes. done I yes definitely no doubt with my um touchwood yes I that was the best experience like um investment I have done in my whole life otherwise oh. yeah thank it you, thank you. I just invested a little bit and I got this for the lifetime hopefully yes so mm -hmm. that's a lifetime investment I can say absolutely and it's it is an infinite return on yes. your investment right um with the amount of money you spend and the amount of money you got back from your job is no yeah. money, is nothing. Yeah. Thank you so much, Atika, for today. I appreciate you. And uh, I hope this is just the beginning yeah. for your career. And I know you will go very far from here because the first job is always the hardest. Yeah. The first job is always hardest. So once you got the first job, the dress is easy. And now you have all my techniques. Yes. Right? Oh, I have all um, your techniques. <laughs> <laughs> so, so... Yeah, you can do, you feel like you're in control of your destiny now, yeah. you know, you don't have to depend on someone else to determine your, your fate, you control your own destiny, okay, yeah. thank you so much for your time, I hope you stay in touch, don't yeah. forget us, sure, for sure. you got to keep joining our, our class till you figure yes. this out, yes, yes, okay? I will, I will, okay, yeah. thank, thank you so much, Erika, have a lovely day, bye, bye.